Hey, it's Dr. Yates in Chicago, right in the middle of the United States. So you can come from the East Coast, the West Coast, the South Coast, if you want to call it that, or you can come from Canada. But uh, if you want to have a good hair transplant, I think you, you should consider us. And there's a patient of mine, Kevin, that I want to show you how he started. So, Kevin, look at these pictures first and tell me, is this you? Yes. Okay. So we're going to make this brief, like show and tell in sixth grade. Okay. Can you see these pictures? This is what Kevin started with. He hardly had any hair on the top. Uh, what we call, you know, a Norwood class, at least a five. Um, now, the good thing about Kevin is he has good donor because hair transplantation is two things. It's supply and demand. This is the demand, okay? He doesn't have much hair up here. The supply is everything else. A lot of people think, well, you know, if you take hair back here, and move it up here, this hair will grow back. It does not grow back. So it's supply and demand. If you're gonna have a good result, you have to have the supply. So you can't come in your favorite hair transplant surgeon's office and say, I wanna have, you know, and everybody uses this word, full head of hair, and you have like a little rim of hair back here, your hair's very thin. It's impossible. What that's called is magic or Photoshop. Okay, so turn around, I'm gonna show you his donor. So we've already done two procedures on him of approximately 2,800 grafts to get from this and show how he looks in the picture now. So let's focus on that. So like the eye doctor, would you rather go with this, looks better, this or this? Most people are gonna say that looks better. You know, and that's you know 2,800 grafts mainly focused on the front and you can see he has a lot of supply back here. All this hair he has on his head now came from here. He doesn't have any more hair than he has right here. If you count up all the hairs on his head, it is the same. You don't grow more hair back here. So the art of a hair transplant is taking the hair from here and making it like we didn't take it and then moving it here. Okay, Kevin, turn around for us again. So, it's no magic. This hair is not going to grow back. And you have to understand that and you have to know this limits what you can do is what's back here. And fortunate for us, he has a small narrow pattern and thick hair back here. So let's just take a look. So the best way to style your hair, even with this amount of grass, is going to be to keep the sides shorter than the top. Because I don't care how many hair transplants you have, will never be able to get that density that he had when he was younger and his sides still have. So the sign of a good hair transplant is equalization of density. The density here equals the density here equals the density here equals the density here. Now to do that, you have to get a good haircut. Because what do I always say? You can make your hair look as good or as bad as you want to. He could come in here with this hair like this, grow this hair out like Sonny and Cher, and then say, Doc, you did a terrible job, post it on some you know, blog that we don't know what we're doing, and everybody will say, you know what, and he paid, and blah, blah, blah. But that's so critical is the haircut, because the hair always grows, always grows. So Kevin, I know I've talked a lot about it, but you know, what do you think about the hair, and so forth and so on? I think it's fantastic. Mm -hmm. I can't believe the results to go from that to this. This is my real hair. Right, it's your hair. It's, it's great. It's great, right. and you can, you know, stand out at the pool and like the commercials of the people at night and get a glass of wine and have all the girls chase you. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> yeah, okay, I guess we're censored on Facebook, so we can't, we can't really get into the graphics, but he knows what I mean. So, what we're gonna do today, we're gonna go more in the back, because we've kind of concentrated up here, okay? We're gonna do some more in the back and we're gonna kind of thicken up the front a little bit more. What you should know from all these you know, videos that with, with one hair transplant, it's very difficult to get the, move the correct amount of hair to really get density throughout. It's very unrealistic, you know? So usually we will see somebody again to do more hair. Not that they need to, but most people will want to. Like if he stopped right now, he looks better than where he started, okay? So it's not that he needs to, he wants to, because we've yes. done a great job. We, he has more donor. Without more donor, I don't care what he wants to do, he can't get it done. 
And when you do FUE, that's follicular unit extraction, we can equalize these densities much better than you can with a big cut on the back of your head. Because once you get this cut on the back of your head, it locks you into one hairstyle, locks you into wearing your hair very long in the back. And we don't want that. We want his hair to be short in the back to accentuate this hair up front. So there are a lot of people that do F-U-T, and you might get confused. F-U-T is the strip, F-U-E is punching it out. I prefer punching it out. People that are very good at F-U-T have their own reasons, and that's fine with me. But if you see me, I'm not an F-U-T person. So we're probably gonna do PRP on him as well, and we'll talk about that later. But, you know, it's a good day, and we'll do some more, and we'll just keep pushing him and pushing his hair till he thinks it's thick enough. So, if you have any questions, just call us, inboxes, whatever. And the other thing I like to do is, is do these videos live because I'm gonna say this a million times because everyone knows somebody who shoots a selfie and doesn't look like they look because of these filters. We can't filter anything here. When we're doing this, I can't filter anything. I can't say, hey, turn like this, move your neck out, move your head down. I can't tell him to do anything. And I do my hand like this, nothing comes out of my hand. You know, if you do some of those pictures that we see online of people's hair and you do like this and do that, you're gonna see something on your hand. So when people come in and wanna compare pictures, you gotta go apples to apples. And we're pretty critical here. So when somebody shows me a picture of something, you know, we'll take it as it is, but you know, live video is the best. So I know I've said enough. So if you have any questions, come see us in Chicago. We're right in the middle of the United States. Uh, there's no reason to get on a plane and go to Turkey. What air, what airline goes to Turkey anyway? Air Turkey? Is there a uh, Turkish Airlines. Oh, instead of Air Turkey. And Air Turkey. Qatar. And, and Qatar? <laughs> yeah. Okay. And, you know, I've never been to Turkey, but I hear a lot of patients always telling me they want to go to Turkey to get a hair transplant. And I can't find any reason, if you live in the United States, where the best medical care is universally, that you'd want to go anywhere but the United States. You don't have to go to me, but I don't think you, don't, you wouldn't need to go to Turkey. So, having said that, talk to you soon.